Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. GG's to EA, they have done it again. Winter Wild Cards is absolutely insane. The players we have in packs, the SBC we had yesterday, and the objective grind that is available right now is absolutely fantastic. All we can really say is GG's. But we didn't get a couple things yesterday that we thought we were going to see, especially regarding the big packs in the store. Of course, there are plenty of packs in the store. EA's got to sell those lightning rounds and get that money. But we didn't see that many of the big packs, like the Icon pack that has the gold players in it, or that 105 players pack that we talked about in yesterday's video. So we are still awaiting a lot of those, but could those come today on Saturday? And what will our daily SPC player be today? We're going to talk all about that and the current state of the market and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's just dive right in by looking at this Winter Wildcards team and kind of maybe doing a little bit of an overview of this because I feel like it's worth saying that this promo team is a, a lot better than what we first expected to see. And also, it's a lot different. Remember the, the leaks that we had early on? Benzema, Kimmich, Alan St. Maximin. Out of nowhere, we have Usman Dembele, Sancho, uh, this Felix card, right? Tomori, Mendy all on this team. So the center attacking in Chiellini, like, again, Winter Wildcards, just like last year, is bringing us a really awesome bunch of players with some really crazy upgrades, some position changes, a lot of weak foot and skill move upgrades in here as well. You got a five-star, five-star Jack Butland goalkeeper. A lot of us just did the Nick Pope SBC, but now we have a 5-5 five -five Butland as well. So there's just a lot of really cool cars. I do think, though, that with the way the packs have been dropped on this game so far, a lot of the high-tier cards like Dembele, Sancho, Felix, even Conte, De Bruyne, Tamori, I think your top-tier cards are a bit undersupplied right now, and I think their prices are a bit inflated. So I'm going to just put this warning out there right away. Just be careful if you have like an Usman Dembele. This card to me still seems very overpriced. I understand there's a lot of hype here. The position change is really cool. I just sold two of these. I bought them at 850, sold them for nine, just like 920,000 coins for a quick flip. He's probably going to fluctuate even more into today on Saturday, but I feel like once we get those big store packs, once we get more lightning rounds, and as we usually see prices of the brand new promo cards dropping off on Saturday and Sunday, I just really think that these guys are going to end up dropping off a decent amount. I know there's a lot of hype around them and these cards look really cool, but again, they're just very, very expensive for just the way the market is this year. These guys are pretty expensive. I sold two Joao Felix about an hour ago at 970k. He's now down to about 920,000 coins. These cards have been so rare and they've been so fantastic to trade with, but also that just comes with the possibility of them being a bit overpriced. So except for the really low tier cards, which are obviously really cheap already, like Tall John is a great Serie A right back uh, that is German, of course. Nice links there. Chong with the 99 shooting. I mean, just even speaking about the stats on these cards, some of them are just flat out cool, right? The 99 boosts on Verde, on Chong, KDB with the physical. Uh, that's just cool, right? So it's a W promo team of cards and packs for sure. Now, there are some names that we have not seen, right? Like I said, the Benzema, the St. Maximin, the Varane. When are those going to be coming? Those might be a part of Team 2. There also could be some that are a part of the mini release. We'll probably look to see more of those cards in the mini release. I guess there's a slight chance of that today, but most often the mini releases are on Sunday. So we'll take a look at that on Christmas Day uh, tomorrow. But let's talk about the market more in general. Since these prices of the promo team started out and they were pretty high and they were pretty inflated and um, you know, they seemed pretty pretty hard to pack. Like the top tier guys, like Mendy, the Dembele, the Felix, they seemed very hard to pack. I think that drove a lot of people back to the meta market yesterday and to a lot of other cars that they maybe uh, wanted to buy for their team instead that were not from the brand new promo. Guys like this Antoine Griezmann, there was absolutely panic selling. We talked about it in yesterday's video. We expected to see panic selling, and there absolutely was. Griezmann was 580k. He is now up to 660,000 coins, um, especially with the Argentina hype with the SBC that we had for DePaul. Alejandro Gomez rebounded very nicely. He's back up to 900,000 coins. So a lot of your meta cards like Ginola, even Gold Mbappe, rebounded up decently well yesterday. Ginola was 1.04, I believe. 
in the panic selling. And I think now he's back up to like over 1.1. He was 1.14 just a couple hours ago. So a nice rebound on the market in most of the meta areas. Even some of your team of the tournament cards, uh, like Phil Foden up to 270. Harry Kane was just 120 and he's been up around the 120K range. That's a bit of an undercut on that card right there. Casemiro rose nicely. Messi's up a little bit. Even guys like Dalo, uh, Thiago Silva from being 40K and his, at his... Um, like his minimum listing price, right? Not discard, but his minimum list, he is up a little bit. So a lot of those cards rose up um, slightly. And even some of your Phenoms cards were panic sold big time. And now they are up a little bit like Militao is up, Saka is up, Lautaro is up, Kunde is up. But some cards are down a little bit too. And I think you obviously look at Pedri like, wow, Nate, uh, Kamavinga and Pedri are down. Well, why is that, of course? That's because of this DePaul SBC, our daily SBC player yesterday, the first one that we had leaked, DePaul, 92,000 coins, the Argentina hype continues, a lot of upvotes on this SBC, very craftable, a decent card, is this one that you have to go out and do, well if you have the Argentina links, like if you have Correa, Acuna, maybe some of those guys on your team, it makes sense, and I think EA's feeding off of that hype still right now by dropping this SBC first, very smart on their part, this is one that I'm probably going to skip, just personally, um, especially with the other SBCs that we maybe have coming, I'd rather wait and see what we get and not spend my fodder on that, right away um again just to be i guess a little bit smart and coin conscious and fodder conscious right because as we will see and talk about fodder is very low but we have a lot of SBCs coming uh, later on this week. So fodder is going to be in, in a lot of demand later on this week. But just to continue talking about the market, the thing that could shake it up today is the packs, right? Now, there's a couple packs. We even didn't talk about this in yesterday's video. Winter Wild Cards mystery pack with the question mark. Uh, I think, personally, this is going to be a pack that they drop on Christmas Day. It might just be like a free pack or something in the store. It's very, very cheap. It'll be a mystery. Probably won't be anything super duper insane but who knows it kind of feels like a like a christmas present if you will that's what i think this um winter wild cards mystery pack is i don't believe we've seen that pack in the game yet unless i've completely missed it but watch out for that pack here pretty soon but the other packs that we did not see are like the winter special pack right the 105 rare gold players pack i was expecting to see that yesterday because based on how they did things on black friday we expected to see all these big packs like the winter snowstorm pack that contains the base icon player and 12 rare gold players. Foot Sheriff actually leaked the cost of those packs. That icon pack, 300K. The 105K pack, 500,000 coins is what he says that winter special pack is going to cost. But we have not seen any of them yet in the game. So the market really hasn't been affected too much and coins haven't been drained as much. So that's why prices went up yesterday. Um, I thought we were going to have these packs yesterday. It, it just seemed like we were going to because that's usually what EA does, but they decided not to. So the only pack that we saw yesterday was a the Winter Tempest pack, which was actually a lightning round. Um, it was cheaper on FIFA points than it was with actual... Um, coins and then we saw the winter cheer pack i believe it was uh the one that had the winter wild card the winter wild card swaps token inside of it, it was seventy five thousand coins i opened it because we made a lot of coins yesterday so i was like you know what let's just open this pack um ea has still been running the lightning rounds in the late night hours they're not right now at this time but they did put out the ultimate pack pluses and then all the lightning rounds that they have been running have been like the extra packs like the rare players pack plus or the 100k packs that they ran were the winter winter jumbo rare players packs so they're definitely trying to put some supply on the market but they didn't do so in a way yesterday that was some of those like crazy coin drain very expensive packs in the store could we see those today I, you would think that we would, but again, who knows? Maybe they're trying to save those for like more of next weekend, or maybe they just wanted yesterday on the promo Friday, first day of the promo to be a bit quiet, and then they were going to do things, I guess, and, and ramp up the content here um, today on Saturday. I really don't know what their goal was with that. Wow, this Cross Alberto is getting cheap, and these Prime Icons are really, really fun to trade with as well because they fluctuate a ton on the market, as you can see with this card. This Carlos Alberto is down a good amount, but I'm going to let that sit for right now. Now, let's talk about that SBC and let's talk about fodder a little bit more because SBCs yesterday, it wasn't the, the place to go except for the place that you need to go into SBCs every single day. Do not forget to do this because this is the most like 
part of the reason why Winter Wild Cards was insane as, as it is, is this Winter Wild Cards daily login upgrade. It's the same SBC. Basically, you do this for, is it 10 days in a row or 11 days in a row? One bronze player, I think, is all you had to turn in. It's super duper easy. And what you do is this SBC connects with the objectives that are in here. And look at these objective rewards, guys. The daily login is 12 days, sorry. 12 different times you have to do this. You can do it one time per day. Every single day you get something else. So today we'll all be getting Chihuahua Felix uh, loan cards that we'll be able to go and get and use in friendly modes, have in our club. Um, tomorrow we'll be getting an 83 plus double player pack. You know, Monday an 80 times five. You get an icon at Ronaldinho, an 84 times five, a 50K pack, a Conte on a loan, an 85 double, an 81 times 11, R9 on a loan, and then an 83 times 10. And then, uh, oh yeah, you got a draft token pack today. And at the very end, you get a Winter Wild Cards player pack, which is a guaranteed Winter Wild Cards player, which is sick, right? That's a big W. And of course, we will end up all getting this pack during team two of Winter Wild Cards because, of course, 12 days from now, we will be into the second week of the Winter Wild Cards promo. So uh, that pack should contain players from team one and team two, but this is a W, right? Super duper easy to do. Just make sure you log on with its companion app, web app, or on the game itself. Try to get this done um, every day if possible. I mean, it doesn't take very long to do. It's very easy, but I love that from EA, right? And then of, of course, this treasure hunt objective, which some of you guys might be confused, like Nate, where are that Randolph and the Kloss card? Those cards that are not on the market, but they show on Footbin. Where in the world are those cards? They are inside of Winter Wild Cards Treasure Hunt 2, which you have to unlock by doing Winter Wild Cards Treasure Hunt number 1, which is just playing six matches in any game mode. You get a swap token for this, a couple other packs, and then you unlock the Winter Wild Cards Treasure Hunt 2, which is you have to like assist uh, three goals with a right back and then keep three clean sheets to get those two extra cards. Um, and that is inside of there. So if you play six games, you'll see this and it'll all make sense. But that's a bit confusing for some. We had the Renier objective as well yesterday. La Liga, uh, not a terrible card, but nothing super insane. So for this, the swaps tokens, we had one via objectives yesterday, one via the 75k pack in the store, and then we had a separate SBC yesterday, which was the um, token challenge number one, uh, Winter Wild Cards challenge one. It's available for six more days. So that is where there was another token yesterday in the game. And I believe that was all of the SBCs. We had the, the DePaul, the challenge SBC. And uh, I think there was just a couple other ones. But they, that, that was the majority of the SBC content from yesterday. Nothing super crazy insane in there, uh, but the tokens are nice. We are now up to 10 tokens, a little bit of a tracker update if you guys want to see it. This is, I'll leave the link to this tracker down in the description. It tells you everywhere where these cards have come from. But token 10, uh, we have reached. So you can actually open the 83 times 25, just the singular one. That is nice to have available now. So that's something to watch out for. Now let's talk today's content on Saturday a little bit more, right? We talked about the potential for having more store packs out there today. We talked about the potential of maybe prices dropping off on the market. That's considered content, right? Especially for, for this channel, for what we talk about. But let's talk about the actual content, SBCs, because in the game, on the menus, it does say that we are going to potentially be getting um, daily SBCs. Now, it doesn't say daily player SBCs. I, I do believe Foot Sheriff tweeted out and said at one point it would be daily player SBCs, and we have multiple leaks for players. We've got Silas that could be dropped today. We have got Ozil that could be dropped today. And I do believe we have Tony Cruz. So there are three leaked SBC players that are potentially dropping today. It could be somebody completely different. could be somebody else. If I had to take a guess, I would think that maybe Silas would be our SBC for today. Hopefully it's cheap, but this could be a card that a lot of people would have fun with uh, in the game if it does drop with good uh, stats and stuff like that. Uh, because just, I, I think that because it was the second leaked SBC. But honestly... Who knows? I don't think they would drop a Tony Cruz the day after dropping a DePaul because those are both midfielders in La Liga. So I wouldn't expect to see that. I mean, do they really want to drop midfielder La Liga prices that much more like Pedri and, and De Young and all of these midfielders from the La Liga dropped off like crazy? Pedri was 170 down to 127. He has bounced back to about 140 where you see now. But that's why if you're looking around uh, the, the market, you can see, wow, De Jong is back up too. De Jong yesterday went from 340 down to 295, back up to about 320 where he is now. All of your midfielders in La Liga took a big hit in price yesterday because of that, which also makes me think they wouldn't want to do that for two days in a row. But 
who knows? I would expect to see a player SBC today. And then everything else beyond that, we'll just have to see what EA wants to do. If they really want to crash the market and get things going with the store packs, since it is Christmas Eve, maybe they will go for something along those lines. And then I think for tokens today, EA's kind of got ahead on the tokens. Like all they have to do is average one per day for this promo. And I think they wanted to get ahead so that people could grind this out, get the SBCs done, get the objectives done. So maybe a token or two today. Uh, they've dropped three in the past two days each. So maybe a token pack as well in the store, or um, I don't know, maybe it'll be through SBCs, maybe through objectives again. We will have to see along those lines. So it's going to be a very interesting day. It should be a good day to trade too. Like I said, the market just feels very safe at the moment because there wasn't a whole lot yesterday to make things go haywire or to make things go crazy, which, you know, even tempts me to try to buy a Carlos Alberto like this or trading with these prime icons is it looks really, really fun. I bought a Lom earlier this evening at 610K, right? He's a super duper rare card. I flipped a Wayne Rooney yesterday and I've been watching a lot of these other cards. They just, they move so much in price. Um, but also they're really risky to trade with because sometimes um, you don't get the sales where you think you're going to get the sales and the cards end up dropping. So the prime icons will be a very interesting place to watch on the market as well if you're trying to trade and make some coins there. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a couple EA mistakes and actually something that EA did that is a big W. And I want to talk about fodder right before that because we haven't talked about fodder yet and we always save it for the end of the video. So GG's if you're still here. SBC fodder got really, really low yesterday. Really low. Like we're talking crazy low. 88s are 24,000 coins. They were even like 23K on bid. 87s like 16K on bid. Um, 80, like 90s or 43,000 coins. A lot of your top tier fodder went down a lot and your 84s and your 85s kind of returned to normal levels. This is the index 84. You can see it's just been sliding down, down, down. And they're back down to like 2.8K. This stuff for me is a club stock. Again, you think about it. We've got SBC demand. If we're getting player SBCs every day, we're having demand every single day on this game this week. And so that to me means probably a decent time to buy SBC fodder. Now, if I remember correctly last year, fodder didn't do like absolutely insane on some levels during the winter wild cards promo. But I feel like if they're dropping these player SBCs, like DePaul is 93K. You look at some of these other cards that are leaked, like the um like the Silas that we have or the Ozil that we have is that going to move SBC fodder that much? Probably not a ton. The Silas could, like remember when Frim Pong was dropped, there was a lot of hype there. I would think that the lower tier on fodder would move more for the player SBCs. And if you're going to invest on the high tier, what we really need is like some sort of icon upgrade pack or a hero upgrade pack or a player pick. We don't have any brand new packs or anything added to the code, but could that mean that we maybe have a player pick coming instead? Because player picks obviously don't have to be added into the code. They can just be dropped as a uh, standalone kind of a surprise. So maybe something like that is coming. It's always good to do a club stock on the weekend of fodder because these guys just get low on the weekend and we have so much content during the week that it could push it up. So that's something to watch out for. I'm not going to go hard on fodder this week. I might just club stock a few things like, I mean, 80, like 89s and 90s to me look super low. All last week, these guys were between 47 and 50k and now we're at 42 43,000 coins so i think you just have to do this before tomorrow at content just in case they drop an icon sbc again now could they drop more tradable packs today lightning rounds yes would that make this go down if we don't have any content maybe a little bit but this is the time of the weekend when people start investing in fodder as well so just keep a close eye out a, cl a club stock get some cards on bid that's always a safe thing to do for the fodder side of the market now Let's talk about the good stuff, right? First, EA is extending Weekend League, which is an absolute W. They said to give players more time to complete Foot Champions, we are extending this weekend's event by 24 hours. You can see the updated schedule in-game. We wish all our players around the world a safe and happy weekend. Huge W from EA Sports. So now, Weekend League rewards will not be paid out until Tuesday in the early morning hours or Tuesday the normal time that it is on Monday, it'll be on Tuesday, basically. So just a 24-hour extension. Big, big GG's the EA Sports. Can't complain about that at all. Uh, extra time to get the weekend league done is never something that we will complain about too much. So that's nice of them to have and say. Now, also, 
EA messed up the loading screen yesterday and they posted an Alexandra Lacazette card on the loading screen that was not yet in packs. EA has fixed this issue. It's similar to the issue that they've done earlier this year with Lozano. Now remember that Lozano compensation took forever to take place, but if you packed gold Lacazette yesterday, maybe check your club. He will be coming into your club as the Winter Wild Cards item very soon. And let me tell you guys, this Lacazette card is juicy. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high-low work rates, 91 pace, 86 shooting, 88 dribbling, and 86 physical. I mean, he looks like a really fun card to try out. He's got leadership and technical dribbler trait, but I mean, right now he's sitting at about 300,000 coins on the market because he is now finally in packs after EA fixed their issue. Um, he's pretty rare, um, and I don't think I would expect to see compensation on this Lacazette until a couple days down the line. But that's something we're going to have to keep in our minds with this card is that there's some impending supply going to happen. And just like we saw with Lozano, whenever that supply hits, it'll probably hit pretty hard and you'll see his price drop a lot. So just be careful with this card today. I bet if uh, you'll see some fluctuation with it, people will see the Lacazette on the market and be like, Nate, oh my goodness, where'd this card come from? And they'll wake up today and want to try that card out. So if you want to trade with him today, should be really good. 2B fluctuation trading with. He does have the inform, so it's a bit annoying to search on the market. Either use the price filters or use the card filter um, to find this card in the market a little bit easier. But yeah, that's a really nice card, and GG's to EA for putting that one out. Now, the last thing I want to talk about too is if you're wondering, Nate, what's that card? What's that Mbappe? It's on Footbin that's at the front, right? If you did open your History Makers pack yesterday, which I'll show you guys mine, and <laughs> I know there's going to be some comments down below like, oh my goodness, Red List, EA employee. I got insanely lucky yesterday, man. And after I've seen more and more people talk about this, I don't know how in the world I, I got this Mbappe. Like, it seems so, so rare. There's a couple other people in the Twitch chat yesterday in the live stream that got this guy. We hit the jackpot. Um, but it doesn't even feel like it's insane because, uh, like, this Mbappe is, is worse than his gold card. But these cards and these packs, regardless, were given out yesterday. If you log into the console version of FIFA, you will have one of these. If you log in before January 3rd or whatever it is. Um, they've got guys like uh, the Van Dyke, the Valverde. They're on Footbin, right? You can see them. So these are free cards that were given out by EA um, as uh, the World Cup stories. You get a lone hero or a lone icon alongside of it. The Valverde card actually looks kind of saucy, to be honest. Um, it's the same exact stats as his base gold, but you get um, the dynamic image, the cool card design, and these cards are upgrading two times in the middle of January and in the middle of February. So same thing even for like the Van Dyke card. Like with two upgrades, he's going to be almost as close as he is to his, his gold card. Now for my Mbappe, like you give Mbappe a plus two um, in, when we get to February and he's only going to be 88 rated and probably not look like his gold card still yet. But we'll see what kind of boost EA give these cards. But as you can tell, it maybe affected the gold cards a little bit. And as we normally do see on the promo Fridays, Gold cards did drop off a lot. So if you were staying away from those or if you waited a little bit to buy one of those for your team, GG's. That was ended up being a pretty good play because they definitely did drop off. But I still can't believe I packed that on Bappe yesterday. That was pretty nuts um, and honestly pretty lucky. Also, I did the icon upgrade yesterday. I was asking for a World Cup icon and I got Crestbell. So now I've got two brand new strikers that technically don't make the team because there's no way I'm replacing this guy and there's no way I'm replacing this guy either. So... Yeah, we have some new super subs, I guess you could say. But GG is the EA for the pack luck. And um, I'm going to keep watching the market today because I think there's going to be great opportunities to trade with some of these icons. Uh, another undercut there on Carlos Alberto. Man, this guy is getting low. Th these guys fluctuate like crazy. We saw yesterday live on stream a prime Muller that sold for, he was sitting at 1.2 million coins on the market yesterday. And he sold for 2 million coins, like literally a 1 million coin price difference in a matter of an hour just because of how rare these cards are. But people with coins, they want to go out and buy these cards and try them and they go crazy, crazy high in price. So that's enough of me talking today. Happily, happy Christmas Eve day. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.